Welcome back to section 4, Interaction and Events. Within this section, we will learn about player statistics, adding laser beams including linked events, and then finally adding laser guns with shooting mechanics. In this video, we will be going over adding player statistics to our game. Throughout this video, we will learn how to add both health and score text, how to link properties to the text objects, and then finally how to remove health when the player gets hit by an asteroid. The first thing we are going to do is open up the file that we used in the last section. After this, we are going to press Shift S and select Cursor to Center. We will then press Shift A and add ourselves in a text object. Once we have done this, we are then going to move around the 3D scene. Here I am going to move it up above the game view. We are then going to press numpad 0 to return to camera view. Here I am going to place the text in the top left hand corner. I am then going to go to the object properties and here we are going to call it health. I am then going to press S to scale it down and again move it further into the corner. We will then press shift D to duplicate and then G and X to move it on the X axis. Here we will add another text object. This time I am going to call it score. With one of these objects selected, I am then going to go into the properties panel here and select add text game property. The next thing I am going to do is select the other text object and again we are also going to give it a property. Once we have added text properties to both objects, we are then going to select our player. Here I am going to also add two game properties. In this case, the first one will be called health, and the second one here will be called score. From here I am going to select integer for both the score and the health properties. Once we have done this, we will then select our text objects. Here we are also going to select integer for both the score and the health text game properties. The next thing we need to do is we need to link this text object to the property on the spaceship here. To do this, we are going to select the text property and then we are going to add an actuator. In this case, we are going to select property. After this, we are going to select copy and from here, we are going to select the object as being the spaceship. Here we can see we have the spaceship object selected. We will then copy across the score property from our spaceship here. We will copy this property into the property text. Once we've added this in, we are also going to do the same for the health text. Here I'm going to select it and again we're going to add a property actuator and here we will select copy, then choose text and for the object we can simply type in space and then select spaceship. Again, the property in this case will be health. By default we could use an always sensor, set it to true triggering and continuously check every frame. However this is quite inefficient, as for most of the frames the property usually won't change. For a more efficient solution we are going to be using a property sensor on the spaceship here. The first thing I'm going to do is go over to the spaceship sensors and from here I'm going to select property. We are then going to go down here and select changed. From here we can select health. We are also going to do the same thing for score. In this case we are going to add another property, move down and then here we'll select changed and this time we'll use score. The next thing we are going to do is move up here. In this case, we are going to add an OR controller. We are then going to move downwards and connect both of these into the same controller. This means that this controller will trigger if either health or score is true. Once we have done this, we now need to connect this output to both of the text objects. Here I am going to hold down the SHIFT key and then we are also going to select these additional text objects. We are then going to connect the properties here 
for both the text health and the text score. Once we have done this, we can then minimize all of the logic bricks. This will make our layout a lot neater. To test if this works, I'm going to go into the 3D viewport and press A to deselect all objects. I'm then going to select the spaceship object. After this, I'm then going to change the health property to 12 and the score property to 32. If we now move into the 3D viewport and press P, you can see that none of the properties has changed. To fix this, we are going to press escape to exit the game engine. We are then going to go to the spaceship object and here we are also going to add an always sensor. We are then going to connect it up with the OR controller. This means that this will also activate when the game starts. Once we've done this, we can then move to the 3D window and press P to start the game again. Here we can see that both of the properties have been updated. Again, we are going to press escape to exit the game engine. The next thing we are going to do is detect when the spaceship collides with an asteroid. To do this, we are first going to select our sensor cube here and move it up slightly. Once we've done this, we will then use a sensor to detect if the ship has hit an asteroid. Here in the sensors for the spaceship sensor, I'm going to add another collision sensor. In this case, I'm going to call it hit. We are then going to go across to layer two. Here I'm going to select my asteroid object. We will then add a game property called asteroid. Once we have done this, we are then going to click here and press Ctrl C to copy. We are then going to click out of it, go back to layer one, and here what we can do is select our sensor, go to the collision hit, and in the property, we can press Ctrl V to paste. Now we have the property name of the asteroid when it collides. We now need to determine what we want to happen when the asteroid hits the spaceship. Here I'm going to select the spaceship object. Here under the spaceship actuators, I'm going to add a property actuator. We are then going to click add, and here we are going to add health, and in the value we'll select minus one. This means whenever this actuator is activated, it will add negative one to the health property. Here I'm going to add another and controller, and connect this in with the property. In this case, we'll also call this actuator hit. After this, I'm going to move down here and minimize all of the logic bricks. The next thing we're going to do is move all the way down the bottom. Here we want to connect the collision sensor with the AND controller here. I'm going to select the output and connect it. To test this, we are going to go up into the 3D view and press P. Now if our spaceship collides with an asteroid, it should decrement the value. Here we can see that this is happening, however the asteroids don't always trigger. The reason for this is because there are sometimes multiple asteroids colliding with this box at the same time. To fix this, we need to make sure that the collision sensor only activates once for a very short period of time for every new collision. To do this, we are going to go down the bottom here, and under the spaceship sensor, we are going to select tap. This means it will only be activated once, even if the object is still colliding with the sensor. The very last thing we'll do is move up here in the logic editor and minimize the collision logic brick. After this, we are going to go into the 3D viewport, press Ctrl S and save. 